You may think that onion soup is only good with toast and a lot of cheese on it, but I have got an onion soup you're going to love in, uh, without either one of those things in it. So let me show you this recipe real quickly. I've got about three cup or three whole yellow onions that I chopped up and then I slowly caramelized. It took about 30 minutes to over low heat make my onions look that brown and lovely. They're not burned, they're just caramelized. So I did that first. Next up, I'm just gonna put a few things in. Y'all, this is so easy. Once you do your prep, it goes like that. So next up, what I'm gonna do is put in about four cups of veggie stock. And when I do that, this is our beautiful veggie stock that we make with all of our ends and pieces of veggies. So now I've got in about four cups of veggie stock. Now I'm gonna put in about a half a small cauliflower. And so there it goes. I've just kind of chopped it up roughly in the food processor. You don't need a food processor. You could just do it by hand. And there is my cauliflower in and it's gonna burble away for a little bit. Next up, what I have is a four ounce container of green chilies. And you're thinking, Nancy, I don't want this to be spicy. These are hatch green chilies and it says mild and they are mild. They just have a lovely, lovely chili flavor. And I've even left the juice in from the chilies in there just so that um, it'll add even a little bit more yummy liquid to the soup. So here we go. There goes my chilies, and these are hatch chilies, isn't that fun? And it's actually hatch chili season right now. All right, so there we go. There are my green chilies in there. And now I've got a trio of three spices. I'm gonna put in some coriander, and then I'm gonna put in some thyme. Yum. And then some fennel. Okay, so things that we don't use as often, but we should because they make everything delicious. Now, if this wasn't on video, y'all, I would let this go for about 20 minutes until the cauliflower was lovely and soft. However, I pre-cooked my, my cauliflower, so you don't have to wait to see what it's gonna look like when it's finished. So I'm gonna take it off the heat and just put my, oops, I'm gonna put something underneath it. Um, and then I'm gonna use my immersion blender to kind of blend it up just a little bit. And so in, in real life, when you see in the rest, in real life, when you see in the recipe, you're gonna see that it has cooked down for about 20 minutes to get that cauliflower nice and um, soft. But now all I'm gonna do is go through with my immersion blender a little bit. And I actually like this chunky, so I'm not gonna do this a lot. You can make it as smooth or as chunky as you like. But the fennel, the coriander, and the thyme make such a delicious herb cocktail in here. That sounds funny, but yes, that's what happens. And then what I'm gonna do, so I've got it just about enough right now. I'm gonna knock off that extra onion and I'm gonna grab my bowl so you can see what this looks like and how I garnish it. So you can see that once I used my immersion blender, it got a little creamier, but it's still nice and chunky. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There's nothing better than the smell of cooking onions is there. So there is my soup. And then what I love to do with it is garnish it with uh, three things. A little bit of green onion, just on the top. A little bit of chopped red pepper because everything needs a little red and then some, something crunchy, some pumpkin seeds for the crunchy crunch. So there we go. That is the super easy, super fast, 
onion and cauliflower soup. I think you're gonna love it. Until the next comfort food recipe, cheers to comfort food.